Hi there, I hope you guys are doing great and uh, this is the Moto G, this is Ranji and a lot of you guys have asked me if I got the 4.2.0 uh, sorry 4.4.2 update that is KitKat and uh, as you can see currently the Moto G is on 4.3 but today that is uh, 17 January 2014 when I did check the system update and as you can see let me zoom in uh, we have this uh, KitKat update that is 4.4.2 and it says that uh, the new version uh, will be 187 MB of download. Again, as you can see, minus the uh, English Great Britain uh, model that's available in UK. It's the international model. And it says that uh, we'll get the KitKat, new phone dialer, uh, Google Hangouts, uh, now support SMS. And it says that we can uh, download it over Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to do that. And uh, we'll proceed with the uh, update when the download is done. And as you can see, the software download has actually started. Uh, you can see that in the notification tray. And the update is almost done now. And it was a 187 meg update. Uh, should be done any minute now. Took almost about 15 to 16 minutes. So almost done now. And it's verifying the update. And it's done. And again, it gives us the screen that our device will reboot. And it says that the estimated time for this uh, update will be about five minutes. And let's hit install now. And don't worry, your apps won't get deleted. So it's just uh, shutting down and uh, rebooting now. Give me haptic feedback. And as you can see, it's doing this. If you have done updates for other Android phones, the procedure will be very similar. And this can take some time. So I'll just skip this portion and move to the next screen. And looks like it's done. And actually it did take a lot of time, almost about five and a half to six minutes. And again, it's uh, rebooting now. Again, it might take some time for the boot to be done. The first boot generally takes a lot of time. So don't be worried. Uh, just be patient and as you can see now it's upgrading the android apps and this will also take a minute or two so i'll just uh, skip to the next screens and the process of updating the apps is almost done uh, this also took about two to two and a half minutes again it will depend upon the number of applications you have and now it should uh, boot in it's almost done and as you can see it's booted i'll just unlock the phone and as you can see it's uh, booted and again uh, we do get the same home screens uh, the layout hasn't changed this is the standard app tray so it's not like nexus 5 for example this is the nexus 5 this also uh, runs kitkat on which if you scroll to the left we get google now by default so it's not like that it's actually the same as what we had earlier also uh, one two three four five home screens and let's look at the android version let's go to the settings the icons of the settings uh, have been changed if you look uh, carefully uh, they have changed a little bit let's go to settings and let's go to about animation also i did notice it changed a little bit and now it's on the android version 4.4.2 that is kitkat so this is Android uh, 4.4.2 that is KitKat. So it is updated. Again, uh, uh, again, some apps will be updated. And uh, so that's normal. So again, uh, in terms of uh, the UI, everything, not much has changed. It's uh, similar. Uh, some of the icons have changed. And I notice a little bit of animations that have changed a little bit. So this is the Motorola 4.4.2 update that we got over the air. That is an OTA update. Thank you. This is Ranjit. I've also made a ton of other videos on the Moto G. Uh, links for those will be in the show notes. I'll also be doing a full in-depth review for this Moto G very soon. So if you aren't subscribed to my channel, subscribe. Thank you. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.